morning students in the previous video session we have gone through the fourth unit introduction part and we have seen about the work uh, energy and power let us discuss about this work done by a constant of force uh, and work done by a variable force so assume that one object is here and uh, we are applying the force on this object uh, and the force which is applied is a constant force so while applying the constant force on this object uh, we can see this object is moving from this initial position ri to rf final position rf so we can see that uh, for that uh, assume that uh, there is a constant force applied on this body so uh, this force due to this force there is a small work is done to move this object from what are the initial position to final position so there is a small work done dw is did the so we know the formula f cos theta dr so actually our work done formula is we know that w is equal to f dr cos theta and that formula only we have wrote here here we are using dw because uh, because the constant force here it is applied a constant force on this object uh, so there is a small work done work is done so that small work done only we are taking as dw and dw is equal to you can take this equation f cos theta into dr now actually this dw is the work done it is a small work done that means uh, you can see here while applying a constant force uh, assume that one object is here maybe that object is moved from uh, this position to this position for this much work done is f cos theta dr that is what we have taken we have taken that uh, dw so now we have to find out uh, this dw means this much work done only small work done now we have to find out the work done the total work done the total work done because of this force and uh, here displacement produced from this initial position ri to the final position rf so that uh, what you have to do means to find out the integrate we have to integrate to find out the work done we have to integrate this equation dw with limit ri to rf so we know that dw means f cos theta dr so that you can write w is equal to ri rf f cos theta dr now w is equal to f cos theta you can take it outside it is constant force only uh, so we have to force is constant uh, and here varying is what uh, the displacement that is changing so that uh, we can integrate dr so ri to rf so w is equal to f cos theta dr integration is r apply limit lower limit ri upper limit rf so w is equal to f cos theta r i applying upper limit r of minus r i applying lower limit now this is what uh, the total work done and for this only the graphical representation given and uh, this area under the graph in this graph this area under the graph we can take it as what uh, the work done by the constant force work done by the constant force so again by the students listen here uh, here assume that uh, there is a constant force act on a body so when there is a constant force act on this body the small work done by the force producing a small displacement 
because of the small force here it produces small displacement uh, and uh, for that uh, how much work is done dw work is done so dw means f cos theta dr now from this initial position ri to rf how much work is done due to this constant force for that we have to to find out the total work done we have to integrate this equation so w is equal to we can take uh, dw integral dw ri to rf and uh, instead of dw you can use f cos theta dr and uh, integrate this dr so with the limit ri to rf and apply the limit uh, integration of dr is r and apply upper limit rf minus lower limit ri and uh, this is the equation uh, total work done by a constant uh, force and uh, this is a graphical representation and the area under this graph is equal to the work done by the constant force and uh, this is one important uh, three mark question and another one you can see is work done by a uh, and uh, variable force variable force so there you can see that uh, here we can see that uh, here we applied the constant force there just uh, we are applying the variable force so while applying the variable force what will happen means uh, this is the force force axis and this is the displacement axis so what will happen means uh, here assume that uh, this is the object uh. now applying the force so you are varying the force so little more force you given so maybe little more order a uh, displacement uh. again you are given little more force so again little more displacement uh. so like that uh, uh, like that uh. this is what uh, you are applying a variable force on this object uh. so finally Maybe you can reduce. Uh, finally, you will get a graph like this. So, this is a displacement. Uh, this is the initial position Ri. This is the final position Rf. And uh, this is what the displacement. Uh. So, this is what uh, you see here. We, have, we applied the variable force. And uh, here you can see the small work done and uh, because of that the small work done here it produces a small displacement also so small displacement you can see here first you see uh, because of this force uh, this much force uh, this much displacement the small displacement uh, again uh, increasing the force so the displacement also increasing again increasing the force in what uh, displacement changing like that uh, force is varying the same what, what is happening displacement also vary so this is a so when you are applying a force on this there is a small work done and uh, that small work done is only for this part only for this part this dw and dw means we know that f cos theta dr and this f cos theta dr is only for one strip only for one strip dw but here we can see that many strips are there so to find out the total work done again we have to integrate this equation dw with the limit ri to rf so what will get uh, here so we have to find out the total work done so w is equal to integral dw ri to rf so here you can put ri here you can put rf inside f cos theta dr so w is equal to ri rf f cos theta dr so you can integrate this dr and you can put limit also but in textbook this much only given 
and uh, here you can see this graphical representation and this graphical representation is for what uh, the work done by a variable force and this area under the graph area under the graph is equal to what you can tell means the work done by a variable force okay so work done by a constant force and work done by a variable force both are important the three mark question in this work done by a variable force is very important question so there is nothing so just to have to understand what means you see a force here what means a constant force is applying so while applying a constant force on a uh, on body what is happening means there is a small displacement uh, and for this small displacement uh, some work is done that work done is dw so dw is equal to f cos theta dr so from this position to this position how much work done total work done we are finding by integrating with the limit ri to rf the same thing only here here we are applying the force but the force is variable variable means what are not every time not the same force so here different here different so because of this different force you can see the uh, displacement also different here you can see in the textbook page number 173 you can see the strip different strips are there so that is because of the force is variable force now you see <coughs> for one strip some work is done that is what dw so for one strip only we are taking dw is equal to f cos theta dr but he, here we can see that the many strips are there that means from the initial position ri to rf so until that we have to find out the work done so that we are integrating the equation with limit ri to rf so while integrating what are we can apply the limit also but in textbook uh, before integration they finished so and this graphical representation is equal to order the work done by a variable force and uh, we can find out the work done by using this area under the graph and uh, the next thing is about uh, the energy so we know that uh, so energy So we all know that energy means what? From our lower grade we are studying about the energy. So what is mean by energy? And uh, here energy means we know that it is a capacity to do work. We know that if you are having, if you are having energy we can do the work easily. If you are doing some physical activity, if you, if you are doing with the full energy, what you can tell that? Uh, we can complete that work very fast. If you are seeing uh, the example, uh, you know that uh, sometimes uh, we are feeling fever means we will feel uh, very much tired. Uh, we will feel very much tired. Uh, our body we will tell that uh, no energy to wake up and do something, some work. Uh. So actually this energy means what? Uh, the capacity to do work. So and uh, I said that uh, Whenever there is a work is done, we know that the energy is transformed. So whenever we are doing some work, what is happening means energy is transformed. That's what uh, yesterday also I told uh, whenever we are doing some work, uh, energy is transferring. For that example also I said, uh, uh, for example, I kept a book here. I kept a book here. Now with some energy I am pushing this book so that I can you can see the basis this book is moving so the, the book is displaced from one position to another position because of the because of what my energy and uh, so now you see now you can you have seen that uh, I did the work what work I did uh, I pushed this book so what we have seen means the the book is moved at a small dis displacement. So work done is equal to F into S we can take. Now what happened means when the book is here now it is having potential energy. When I am applying some energy of some force with energy some force I am applying on the book. 
it moved some distance and you have seen that when it is moving the potential energy is changing to kinetic energy that's what whenever we are doing some work energy is transforming and we can tell that work and uh, energy both are same manifestation and uh, <coughs> what you can tell means uh, we know that energy also we are using the same unit of joule and uh, the symbol is J or uh, and the dimensional formula we are using is the same dimensional formula ml square t power minus 2 and uh, we know that uh, energy there are many forms of energy and uh, in that uh, mainly we are classifying the mechanical energy into two the kinetic energy and the potential energy so <coughs> mechanical energy we are classifying into two kinetic energy and the potential energy so what is this kinetic energy and what is this potential energy we know that uh, any object which is in motion for example uh, one fan is there when the fan is off, we know that the fan possesses some gravitational potential energy. We know that when we switch on, when we switch on, the fan started to rotate. The, while the fan started to rotate, what the, we are getting, we can see that uh, that potential energy is transforming. <coughs> so gravitational potential energy is transforming to kinetic energy. So, what you can tell means the energy possessed by a body due to its motion. Any object which is in its motion, we can tell that it possesses some kinetic energy. The same thing potential energy means what you can tell. So, any object which is in its virtue of its position. So, you can tell that. Now, assume that this book is here. <clears throat> now, this book is possessing a position. So, this body is at a, a position, at its position, so that you can tell that uh, this book possesses now potential energy. Now, I am lifting this book upward uh, so that you can tell that uh, now this potential energy is transforming to kinetic energy. Then, I kept the book uh, little upside uh, so that I can tell now it possesses gravitational potential energy. So this is what the, the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy. So kinetic energy means energy possessed by a body due to its motion and uh, any object which is in motion. You can tell that it possesses kinetic energy. In position size and shape and all what we can tell means it possess some potential energy and for both kinetic energy and potential energy we are using the unit the same unit of joule only or or you can use a Newton meter here also you can use a Newton meter or joule so energy unit is joule so kinetic energy unit also sure surely it will be Joule and potential energy unit also Joule only and the dimensional formula also same ml square t power minus 2 Now you can see again you can see the work done by a constant force on page number 170 uh, It is a long answer question number 1 Long answer question number 1 is what are You can see this uh, long answer question number one. Explain with the graph the difference between work done by a constant force and by a variable force. So you can uh, use this. So you can study this question. It is an important question. Maybe it will ask for three more questions. So work done by a constant force means you can start it from here and uh, this derivation and this graph also you can use and uh, work done by a variable force the same in page number 172 
you can start it from here and uh, up to this graph you can use and the next topic energy definition is here it is defined as a capacity to do work and uh, you can write the dimensional formula unit uh, and the types of energy kinetic energy and potential energy and the definition for kinetic energy is on page number 173 and the potential energy is also same page so energy possessed by a body due to its motion is called kinetic energy and energy possessed by the body by virtue of its position is called potential energy so my dear students all of you take this as your assignment fourth unit to first assignment is your long answer question number one work done by a constant force and work done by a variable force with a diagram you can do it and tomorrow zoom class the same thing same thing i'll give us the assignment so all of you prepare this note it down and uh, write it on your assignment note thank you all bye bye